In Mozambique, 80% of people depend on agriculture and food production. Fish, meat and vegetables are part of the culture, but fisheries decline in recent years, have led to fish scarcity and increase of prices. Also, poor production techniques and high costs of farming have made fish a delicacy that few can afford. Many people rely on starchy foods and vegetables, leading to unbalanced diets that lack protein. Recent cyclones devastated the country, destroying lives and livelihoods and creating new challenges for food security and nutrition. The COVID-19 pandemic added to the challenge of maintaining fragile food systems. Thousands of farmers have been affected. Grasa Michelle, patroness of the historic site of Shilimbena, former First Lady of Mozambique and of South Africa, is a strong advocate for nutrition, women and youth empowerment. She asked FAO to work with her foundation to rebuild the agricultural food systems in the province of Gaza, placing aquaculture at the core of local transformation. FAO is promoting integrated aquaculture as a way to generate fish production and create jobs for young people and women. That's critical for protecting households from more climate shocks and building resilience to global shocks such as COVID-19. In Shilimbena, FAO is providing assistance and capacity, building on new technologies and business skills in an integrated project where aquaculture, agriculture and livestock complement each other. It's about giving men and women new opportunities to generate their own production using innovative integrated aquaculture solutions. The project aims to restart local food production with an integrated system that includes fish, livestock and crops. Develop fish farming, recycle waste and save energy while maintaining ecological balance. Build capacity for women and youth from local agricultural schools. Despite the challenges imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the project has already proven to be a success. Almost a year since it began, participants have produced 16 tonnes of fish, 2.5 hectares of maize and sweet potatoes, and bred chickens and rabbits. Many people, particularly local women and young students from two polytechnic schools, have benefited from FAO's training, as well as research and development. They have learned good agricultural practices using good seeds and feeds, fertilization and irrigation techniques, and the need for markets and marketing. This project gives them reasons to believe they can start their own business on fish farming, chickens, maize, beans or other value chain. Improving nutrition and increasing resilience to climate change, threats and crises is essential for the people of Mozambique. It can only be achieved by building better and sustainable food systems.